what is up YouTube, IP2 here, and I am on my little YouTube vacation still, but I'm out in the garage, I figured I'd shoot a little video and upload it when I come back, but there's my little bug out, bug out whip right there. I'm getting it set up with all of my, uh, I'm getting jumper cables set up in it. Uh, I've got it here, uh, getting the jumper cable set up in it. Uh, I just got my new, new light bar right there. I just got it, it on with my switch. Uh, I got my winch here, got the winch hooked up. So, you know, a lot of people need a bug out vehicle. Um, you know, one that can get them far. I don't have to go far. I'm pretty much already at my bug out location, but if I have to get away from, from my house, I can go, it's about a mile down the woods from here. I can go there and then I have another place that's about 10 miles from here and I can do all that with this. And I can get me and my family packed up in this bad boy and go, but my plan is not to really bug out, but if I need to, this right here can get it done. So what I want to talk to you guys about is if you're planning on trying to can or planning on canning or anything and you just, you're not really pulling the trigger on it because you don't know how to or anything like that. Whenever you see them at the store, go ahead and grab them. Cause here, whenever it warms up, they're gonna be hard to get. I mean, my Walmart's had them. So I've been stocking up on them here. You can see them here, I got them there. I've got them over here. These are actually uh, mason jars. They're just off-brand, still work though. Right here, I got another off-brand mason jar. I got these mason jars. I've got, I've got mason lids for days from, from Canon. Uh, we've got a whole nother, right here I got my, my mealworms for my chickens. So I got a whole nother thing of lids. These are uh, regular lids right here that go to uh, these type of uh, uh, cans here. Got more here. I've got my actual uh, pressure canner there and I've got my dog Kilo right here. Say what's up Kilo. But what I'm trying to say, and I got my uh, bath canner right here. And I haven't really canned this winter that much because it's hard to can. Uh, what, I'm what I mainly can is my stuff out of my garden. So what I'm saying here is if you are planning on canning but you don't have the time yet or, because uh, it's hard for me to can as well because i'm working you know 12 hours a day stuff like that hard for me to can hard for me to garden but i still do it but in a shtf situation you can can and learn to can after shit hits the fan so say say the stuff in my deep freezer right here uh electric goes out you know, shit hits the fan, electric goes out. I've got all of this deer meat here. This right here, say this was going bad, starting to defrost. My freezer's off because my generator ran out of gas. I can't keep it going no more. This will go bad unless I eat it, but I can can it. And if you're saying, I don't know how to can, there's a Prepping 101 book. I've got it in my house in the kitchen but it'll teach you, it'll show you how to can a lot of stuff, pretty much everything. And you can stuff that you think is gonna go bad. So if your freezer, you know, say your freezer like this goes down, you can, I can, I can can all this in here. Can it, put it away, and store it away, and I won't even need a freezer for what I had in my freezer, you know? So if you're thinking of getting into canning, uh, I recommend get you uh, a bath canner right there. I recommend you getting your pr pressure canner and getting as many uh, as many cans, mason jars, uh, you know, knockoff uh, jars. Uh, get your your utensils right here. I've got these. These are good for grabbing jars. 
but there's nothing like having these right here. These are awesome. You just come in, grab the jar like that. And I've, I'm gonna get on making some canning videos. I've just been, been busy. Uh, also, you wanna get you a funnel for when you're putting your stuff in your, your uh, mason jars. So yeah, that's just a little thought of mine. Uh, also, uh, make sure you uh, keep uh, rat uh, rat poison because they'll come and eat all your uh, your preps. I've been having problems with that, but anyways. So yeah, if you've been thinking about canning, go ahead and pull the trigger on the supplies. And even after shit hits the fan, you can still teach yourself how to do it. If the, if the internet goes down and you can't learn nothing off YouTube or nothing, get you a hard copy of Prepping 101, a book, any kind of prepping, uh, canning book, and it'll show you what ingredients you need and stuff like that. Get that stuff. Even after shit hits the fan, you can learn how to can and can everything on your in your refrigerator, everything in your freezer. You can can it all, put it away. It'll be shelf stable. It may help you after shit hits the fan. So peace out, you guys. That was just a little quick video on my on my little YouTube vacation. It's not only a YouTube vacation. It is a uh, it's basically internet vacation. I haven't been on Facebook. I haven't been on uh, Instagram or nothing. Uh, I got on YouTube a couple times just to look up um, something that I needed to figure out, but I just been having a little vacation and it's been it's been uh, real mind clearing. Just been doing a bunch of motivational videos and stuff like that, motivational podcasts. So, all right, guys, appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, here's my dog up under my my bug out vehicle. Here's my dirt bike in here. I've been working on this, had to put a new motor in it. I'll show you guys real quick. This part of my motor right here went bad, so I had to replace it. Also, here's my my generator. It's a gas and propane one. I got it kind of buried under stuff, but when she hits the fan, it will come in handy. Got some emergency food out here built up i need to get it all put in my pantry inside but just been so busy so all right guys say peace out to kilo peace out you guys